The swab. Oh! Sorry. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I wanted to document this because I am going to get tested for the coronavirus. And yeah, so I don't have any face masks, so this is what I'm wearing. I think he's seepy. Obviously, I have my kids home with me because I am their mom, so I am trying to like wear this mask around them. Yeah, baby. Oh, buddy. Oh my gosh, you're so dirty. You got that banana everywhere. Mommy, huh? Um, I you Okay, when we come back, okay. Yeah, so I am. My husband's home right now, and I am getting ready to go and get tested. So I will check in with you guys, and hopefully, I'll get to like record the process because it's just like a drive up kind of thing. So I'll definitely let you know how that goes. All right, so I am driving down to like the loading area like they set up this little area in my hospital like specifically for testing where you literally just drive up and get your testing done so i see the white tent up there doesn't look like there's anybody in the line so that's good Yes. Yeah, what's your last name? Anthony. Anthony? Brittany. Okay. Okay, so they're like fully decked out. Maybe they won't say anything if I try to record myself getting this test done. I'm nervous because they said that it fucking hurts, kind of, so. Um, we'll see. I'm really nervous. Like, honest to God, I'm nervous. Like, I, I feel fine. Like, you know, they say, like, if you do have it and you're, like, young, you know, like, it could be moderately mild. And honestly, like, I'm not worried so much about myself having it or even my kids because, like, kids are, you know, they, they're, like, no-limit soldiers with this particular virus, apparently. But I do have, like, elderly parents, elderly in-laws, and then my brother-in-law, like, has leukemia. So I'm just, like, extremely anxious right now because, like... Not only have I, like, I been over to their house, but, like, my kids have been over to their house, so, like, it just makes me really nervous, so, but, we'll see. Hi. Hi. You want to just turn your car off for a second? Okay. Um, have you had this done before? No. No, it's, it's pretty brutal. It's going to go back, um, past the bridge of your nose. I'm going to do both nostrils, okay? Okay. Okay. Oh, and then I have a form here for you that I didn't bring, so don't leave until I get that to your back, okay? okay? Do you guys have any masks, like, like, the ones you have? Because all I have is this. I have a seven-month-old at home. Yeah. So. Um, I mean, you're touching your seventh-month-old, so breathing is not really going to... It doesn't matter. Yeah. Just try not to... That's kind of a hard one. Just lots of hand washing and... Okay. Yeah. So you don't think I need to wear a mask at home then? Well, I mean, it's... He's still going to be exposed to you regardless, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. So let's go ahead and... The swab. Oh! Sorry. One more side here. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That <laughs> hurt. Yeah. Oh my it's god. Fun. I'm sorry. Oh, that caught me off guard. Oh, oh Jesus, that hurt, you guys. Oh my fuck. Sorry, I just said a bunch of curse words. I'm probably gonna have to edit some of this out. That really hurt. <laughs> oh my god. That seriously hurt. I'm not a baby. Like, I can get shots and stuff, but that hurt. It's just paperwork from the CDC on um, 
keeping yourself away from people quarantine um, for 14 days, okay? Okay. Okay. Do you need me to sign? No, you don't have to sign anything. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just paperwork for me to keep. Okay. Yeah, that's just for you, for your information. How long will it take? I know they, they told us over there like seven days, but are you guys expecting any sooner now with the new? I don't know. I don't know. I think things are coming back in like three to seven days right now. Are they calling? If they're positive, yeah. And you can always call the Department of Health too. Um, so the Department of Health is who's going to call me, not not Whidbey? Either Department of Health or CDC. Okay. Yeah. So then I can't call, I have to call the CD, like the health department to check on the status, basically? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm at home. Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> Thank you guys for being here. Oh, I appreciate yeah. that. Good luck. All right. that hurt so bad I'm not even tripping like that hurt a lot like so you guys heard it I will most likely be hearing back from the health department or the CDC within like three to seven days hopefully it's sooner than that now that they have the new like testing but unfortunately for me like I'm just going to be sitting at home not doing anything thankfully i had already stocked up on groceries and pretty much like everything that we needed so yeah so we're doing some activities with nova because it is saint patty's day today right okay so we're all done with the red what's this color what's do you know any of the colors what other colors are on here blue and red. Oh. okay where's the blue all right, do you see a blue marker? Good job. All right, so can you color in all the li all the dots on the blue line? Where? Where's the blue? Yep, there you go. Looking back at the good times I got so we have the paint mat set up here this is just water painting I love this then I've got some color or some number sorting apple activities here and then I've got some apple sorting that we're gonna do over here all of these were free printables on Pinterest I'll have those linked down below for you guys if you're interested but tons of free learning activities great job all right what's another And my hands are literally like peeling from how dry they are from washing them like over and over and over again. Amen. Can we ride in the car for two minutes? Yes. To go where? To go to music class. To go to music class? Yeah. Well, everything is canceled right now, so that means... Hey. Hey. Hmm? It means we have to stay here, so we're going to go upstairs and have story time, okay? Show this kids. The little school bus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 16, 16, 18, 16, 19, 20. All right, so the kids are taking a nap right now and I, I just laid them down actually, so I hope that they actually stay asleep because Nova has been having the hardest time sleeping at home, but I force her to take a nap. Like she is not allowed to come out of her room until she sleeps for at least an hour because when she doesn't get a nap, she's an absolute terror, so even if it takes me like 45 minutes of a power struggle of just redirecting her to her bed, 
that's what I have to do literally because it's chaos. Let me know down in the comments if anybody else has struggled with their three to three and a half year old starting to refuse naps but still definitely needing them. So I am going to make myself something to eat because I haven't been hungry all day and I know that I need to eat and get some energy and I'm probably going to work with my Cricut a little bit and make some labels for TJ's bottles. She'll also for TJ's bottles to label them, so I'll show you guys that. these little labels for TJ's bottles. I don't think you can kind of see it, but this is so cute, you guys. I am obsessed with my Cricut. Like, I love it. But he goes over to my, um, my sister-in-law's house and my niece and him have the same bottle. So now they'll be like really labeled and they won't get lost. So this is awesome. I'm super excited about this. And I'm watching Law & Order. And TJ just woke up, so um, he's eating right now. And yeah, I'm just gonna finish labeling the rest of the bottles. I've got a few more, so. All right, so I'm making two options for dinner because I don't even know how I'm gonna feel tomorrow, but I got these steak burritos from Trader Joe's and then I'm making some spaghetti and meatballs. And dad's home. And it looks like he brought me some goodies. Oh yeah, and we're having a side salad. Forgot, gotta get those veggies in, guys. Don't forget to get your fresh fruits and veggies in. Dayquil. Let's see. Nightquil. I'll be, probably won't be taking this at night. Something about taking um, nighttime cold stuff like doesn't, makes me feel uneasy as a mom. Um. Let's see, what else? What else did you bring? Oh, it's definitely more. Huh? No, we didn't. Oh. Nothing. Pooey. Nothing exciting. No chocolate. No. No chocolate. No chocolate? No what chocolate at all. Set up this little thing down here on this easel for Nova to have like activities on. She's gotten two shows of the Magic School Bus today, but so far, we are doing good. Yeah, I'm like not against uh, screen time at all, as you guys know. If, if you are not new to my channel, then you already know that I let my kids watch TV and be on the iPad and stuff like that. Like I'm not against that at all, basically. Um, but you know, with us being kind of like at home and with her like being out of daycare right now, or pre her preschool program at daycare, I just feel like maybe I need to focus more, like less on TV because she gets absolutely no TV when she's at school. And um, go on for more kind of like a routine based thing. I think a lot of us are trying to do that right now in the country. Like just kind of give our kids some structure because I know that there are some moms and you know dads out there who are at home with their kids right now and they're trying to like make sure that their kids don't fall behind 
in the educational department, so I'm sure some of y'all can relate with me there. Like, it's just important, like, we as parents are our kids' first teachers. So I just, you know, what an honor, honestly. So I'm really excited to implement more kind of homeschool things with her while I have her home and while we get to spend this time together before I find out whether or not I have this virus and if I can, you know, that's gonna determine if and when I go back to work, so. We'll be here all week. I'll be doing more of these vlogs. Um, give me a thumbs up if you guys like this video and drop a comment down below for me and let me know how it's going for you right now with everything going on. How are you feeling? How is your family feeling? How are you coping with everything? Are you stocked up? Is there anything that you need? Is there any way that like I can pray for you or that we can try and find you some resources? Drop a comment down below. Let's start a conversation in the comments section. And I think I'm gonna end this video here because I don't really have anything else exciting going on for the rest of the night. We're just gonna eat dinner and chill. So. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. No need to rush, so let's just take our time. Dropping everything cause you're stuck on hey, my mind. Can you put them on so you can go for a walk? Yeah. My mind. So just sit with me. Talking to the night until the morning. Building camp. Mystery. I don't think I ever want to go come closer next yeah. to me Whoa. Trying to find another way to say this but